Warning, these web clips feature stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. MTV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to reenact any stunt or activity performed on the site. The following presentation is rated TVMA. I'll make this life a real house for me, yeah. And let me check this week for that. Please be out, March Madness. Welcome to today's next level seven this guy. Yes. You're going to make the champion of God here. And here are the semi-finals with that for this place. The hardcore champion, Mike Blarman, will take on former world champion, Walter Strong, Gregory Black. And in the other semi-final match, Two former women's champions will face off as the Slammers on Beth Phoenix takes on the Gym Raider. Our cross. I'm excited, let's do this. Well, we were scheduled to have a in my final match right about now. I, I have Hammond versus Black in my format. How about you guys? I do well, too, but here comes here comes a newly named number one contender for the women's power. Oh yeah! What? As, the hit, the hit. as I was about ready to say, if ever two women had bullseyes on the back of their head, and that just happened. Yeah, I'm, I, like I said, I missed out on day five. I apologize for that, but I did catch the replay. The OB and Revolution attack the tag with the tag champs after their epic semi-final match that Electra ended up getting um, the victory. And then it was announced that that Neil D and Revolution were challenged for the titles at Crossroads. This is awesome. Cy Electra going on the offensive, not taking this lane down anymore. You knew, you knew Scott Lester would come back with a response after what happened to them last night. Neo Diva Revolution seemed to want to come out here and run their mouth, and that probably back. It looks like that back there. Two seconds back to the wall. One on the um, red way. One on the red way. One on the red way. One on the red way. And all the best. Uh -oh. We might on Saturday nights, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anarchy is reigning supreme in CCL tonight. 
This is madness! <laughs> Why is it all method? Nice. Big B will be happy to hear that you use that. Late Minds and Mark Frost, they've been blown in a war over the last few months. Yeah, I gotta say, those two gotta get signed to a match at um at Crossroads. That's gotta happen. He just kind of tripped right there. That's, that's weird. We got, we got officials out here trying to break up the... I don't think there's anyone left to try to break these two up. <laughs> it looked like half the locker room was out there trying to... Wait, trying hold to on. Get those. Wait, you hold on. You got to think, with the money that what Meredith Clark has, and then the uh -huh. money that Krieger has, you think they'd have been able to afford more security up in this piece? I mean, what's Ooh, going on? I don't expect people to go haywire like this. Two fights breaking out. Probably not, but still, one hurts. Just saying. Jesus. What? The stories you heard are true and to headline bound for greatness, they must enter Devil's Playground, 36 feet in diameter, 16 feet from the roof to the floor, 2 miles of chain, 32,000 pounds, weighs 16 tons, where 6 men battle. For a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity at Bound for Greatness. BCW Extreme Chaos Live, April 5th, 2014 on the BCW Network. Introduction to our first semifinals. Here's Chris Edwards. Michael Hartman, the current BPL Hardcore Champion. Of, ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the technical difficulty moment. Uh, the power momentarily went out. And, Wade Myers smashed Mark Austin's dead into that um, electrical box, but uh, we're back. That was awesome. Let's do that again. Yeah, you can fuck off. <laughs> Here comes the man of salvation. He's trying to get to the finals. Can he do it? Trying to get to his second final.
His opponent tonight is also trying to get to a second March Madness final. Once again, here's Chris. Now this time last year, these two were tag team partners and that were the number one contenders to the tag team titles. Yeah, but they went down different paths after that. I haven't had a rip lost his goddamn mind as Brecky Black went on to become the world heavyweight champion and set the record for longest reign as the world champion in history by CCL. But there's two things, there's one thing these two have in common, they both want to get a chance to get that championship back. The top seed is the Mark Bandit Tournament. This is Mary Black Dummy. This has been a very fun series. Pale as hate. Michael Hyman, the man of salvation, 6'9, 268. Now it's back to Current CCL Hardcore Champion, CCL World Heavyweight Champion before. <clears throat> defeated Joseph Matos. Austin Strong. Austin Strong played his last 5'11", 225 and lost the Triple M Champion in the Won the Money in the Bank last year. Knocked off Riley Reynolds. I was just going to say that this has been a fun experience to be a part of my first March Madness. Really? What, my third one? Each, each year it just gets it just gets better and better. Like, like you mentioned in day one, every, pretty much eight of the twelve on each side of the, or each side had to qualify to get in here, and only the top four got to get in on buys. And now you're just seeing the you know the cream of the crop starting to rise up. Following the events of last night, only one qualifier remains. That's that bitch on the women's side. Yep, yep, she's the only one that had to qualify. She was the fifth overall seed, and now she has a chance to knock out the number one overall seed tonight. Everybody else is still in the tournament and got a buy. This is one count. The winner, of course, will be in the finals, which will happen tomorrow night. I'll take on the center of the universe, Sherman Samson. Well, Sherman. I don't like... Oh. I think Sherman, Sherman at least has the luxury of an extra day of rest even though know, his match right. was last night whereas whoever wins here tonight only gets not really but like a one night of rest if that and then they gotta go right back out tomorrow night and try to become the March Madness champion that's one, that's one thing about when you're in this business when you wrestle like night in and night out with barely any rest, it starts to it starts to wear on you because these guys were going at it for about now this is day six and some of them have had more than just one match. It's, you know, it starts to wear on you. Neither have, neither of these two had a first round match, but for both of these men, this would be their second match in three. What a now, move by Hines. Oh! Wrapped around the set right there, there in the Frankie Sandler. I said, you mentioned during the intro, these two right here were passing partners at one point. Then they were pretty much bitter enemies towards the late summer, or well, in the summertime, which culminated in that in that three-way gauntlet match at Future Shot, where Hyman was part of that match in a, in a submission match, I believe it was. It was. Yeah. And Hyman actually, Hyman actually tapped out with his black, but it was not in the ring, so he did not win the world title that night. Yeah, Hyman ended up tapping out to what would later be introduced as the Boston Stronghold, which has now become a staple of Gregory Black's offense. Hyman on the outside of the ring, taunting, it almost looks like Gregory Black. Getting sure, back I'm in. I'm sure, I'm sure Hyman really, really wants to get back to the World Championship. Like I said, he's only held that belt once. He held it for a little bit of time, but not as long as Gregory Black. And I've always said, if you're not in this business to be the World Heavyweight Champion, you don't belong in, you don't belong in this business. There you go. Can you imagine? Go ahead, I'm sorry. 
I'm in the much bigger of the two, but they are both setting me down. They're not going to make a lot of mistakes. Can you imagine the finals tomorrow night if Gregory Black wins this? So him and Sherman have had a long standing rival. I mean, for Christ's sake, Sherman Sampson beat Black and he shaved his head. I mean, he's grown his hair back, but at one point, Gregory Black was walking around with a shaved head. Looking like goddamn, looking like goddamn Mr. Clean. Oh, what a game! We're gonna get your fucking head kicked in. coming up on Sunday. What are y'all's plans for next Sunday? We can week from Sunday, yeah. Oh, I think I'm just going to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where, I mean, where, dumbass? <laughs> uh, I'll probably watch it at home on my uh, somewhat expensive TV on the WWE Network. You know, actually, I, I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to watch it yet. There's a couple of uh, possibilities in and uh, I may not be able to watch until halfway through due to certain restrictions, but we'll see. Oh, hang on. Uh -oh. Good boy. And yeah, I got the ropes. Yeah, I'm, sure I'm going to be watching it with some friends. I'm heading back home after March Madness. Get to hang out with the family and hang out with the friends and watch it. I'm looking forward to it. It should be an awesome event. What a running bulldog by Michael Hyman. Yeah, one of the things I've been looking forward to, they announced it like a month ago, was that the... The band that does the Wyatt theme song is going to be there doing their doing their song live. And that's Red Fury awesome. is also going to be live uh, during Randy Orton's theme song. So that <laughs> both of those should be awesome. Yeah, I know, and I've like I really looked forward to that for a long time. Looks like I'm looking forward to the smart style to find out who went, especially who, after whoever wins this match. They're both pretty. <laughs> I'm just going to name the three people who I, I didn't oh, hang on. know. Two! I'm going to identify with you. There are three people in this company who have such great execution of suplexes. Two of them are in the ring right now. And the other? DJ, DJ Logan. All, 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 for, all for the world champion. All three of them, they have, they have perfected so many different variations of the suit black. Oh, look at him! Hey! Black was flying! He went air black! Uh, I saw what you tried to do there, Doc. Just... Subtitle this March Madness seems to be Seth. 
I've seen so many people's moves taken from them and used against them. It has been insane. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the These guys, I mean, they, they give it their all, but they can't give too much, and they still got one more opponent. They got one more opponent. He's maneuvering behind and driving his kneecaps into the, into the body of Gregory Black. Grabbing it in the in the face. In the face. And I, and I just took two more roundhouses to the face. I'm begging Black to get a hand up. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a little pin here too. Oh, what is that Black? And he gets a real fall. Man. Now it's going back to the victory wall. And another reverse. I thought, I thought Michael Hammer was going to go once he walked and it was possible, but not this time. He's not right now. Oh, that's a hard one. What are you about to do? Oh, my. You got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. I think both of their backs have got to be broken or at least severely damaged after that shit. Hyman's okay. out. He hasn't moved. Anybody watching for the first time again, when they get suplex on the floor, that is four. That is Asuka. That is concrete. Yep. And somehow Hyman is off. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I slammed it. Ever AJ Mayan continues to count and he continues to have to start over because the count continues to keep the team to be broken. I bet he feels like the count right now. Oh, oh, oh my shit. goodness, DDT. That's they don't get DDT on the floor. That's a concussion on delivery. Okay. Mike is taking a, he is taking a bone load of head trauma in this man. My head up to six now. Yeah, I was about to say they might want to get back in the ring. They don't want to get counted out. I got, I got to wonder. We have a double count out. Is that the best win? That would. That's exactly what they. Oh! Jesus. You got the night off tomorrow night. That indeed was. Ooh, night off. He basically win the tournament by default and exactly get ready for two crossroads and going up against the great team. Start prepping the game plan. How long that would be? How how long that would be? Sam's taking on a great deal for the world title after round but after this time last year, Samson took the national title from the great team. Regal Black! Shows him That's I saw it me. Black just got busted open. I saw it on the way down. Are you sure? Oh. Well, keep, yep, I can go ahead and say it. We got a bleeder! We got a bleeder! And it's the mission by Hyman. Zach is in a lot of trouble. Hyman's want to share matches with that very maneuver. He's choking you out of his legs while he's yanking on your arm and he's a very uncomfortable man. That looks fun, doesn't it? I hope you say so. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Insecurity by Hyman. Oh! This was five kick counter by him. 
a black guy. I think Hammond might have been going for kill by that. He usually does that from that position there. And now black. Yeah, yeah. This is over. Oh, oh it's so oh. Get on the team. I'm gonna get down. I was gonna touch that on the dick when I say that, but I don't know. Yeah, look out. Oh, wow. Here we go. The boss is running. Oh, we're locking in. Okay, Hyman tapping his knee back in Jan back in July at Houston Shop. He's in the middle of the ring. A very maneuver Wendy Black used to retain the world title in that in that gauntlet match at Future Shock. A very maneuver used to retain the world title. Elimination Chamber of Supernova. And I don't know if Hyman let go or if Black let go or Hyman kicked out of it, but Hyman's back on the offensive now. Speaking of crossroads, there's a crossroads. You're welcome. Oh my and, uh, god. Oh, 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 kidding me. You are kidding me. Wow, man. It has happened so many times this tournament. Yeah, I don't know if they try to get a tap. That needs to be something. There you go. Another there submission go for you. After wrenching the back, the lower back with the Boston stronghold, Michael Hyman going back to work on Gregory Black. Raise our king locked in. Definitely working on the back, the neck, the arm. It's like a fun little workout from hell. Yeah. Behind him, make it behind him, name is Dick. And Black is going to capitalize on it. The figure of the fourth black man. I mean, Hyman can really promote the only year, by the way, like 6'8, 6'9 or something. It's 6'9. I don't think he can reach it. He, he, he's his false feet. He might be in so much pain, he's just got to flail. Oh. He reversed in that pressure and then got out of the hole. Black hat, and black hat to let it go. I think I was, you see that? What? I think I was one. Really? I think. If he's left it, he's in trouble. Good night, nurse. Oh, Gregory Black is not done yet. He's been dropping on his head one more time. Maybe not. Oh, no, I don't like what the time is, believe it or not. Not on that. Not that well. Two guys leaving nothing as Hyman gets thrown to the outside of the ring. These two guys leaving nothing in their closets, going full at it tonight. You know who's got to be loving this right now. Sherman Tapp. Sherman Absolutely. Hyman and kicked in this section. What do you want? He'll come over here, champ. He's crazy. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he, I know he is. Great old Danny T on the floor. Hey, yeah, just cut it. 
I mean, I'm probably thinking, what do I have to do to get this man away? He's put me away before. I need I'm to sure his I the same thing. Come on, baby! Yeah? Okay, no, that wasn't that was genius, Cam. Genius. I like you did. Come on, baby! What is he gonna do now? No. Oh my god! god. Gregory Black has to have a concussion at this point. Gregory Black is motioning. Gregory Black's dead. Oh my gosh, they killed Gregory Black. I mean, the amount of head problems he's taking, like I said, he's got to have a concussion. You can probably see it, three or four people. I mean, you never know. What? And he kicked out. <laughs> like I said, when you're in that ring and you get a concussion, it's kind of hard to maintain yourself and keep the offensive going when you can barely see and you've got oh, a bad oh, headache. Oh, now he's got a stomachache. I see my offense is double stopping in here for him. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, working on them legs. Setting him up probably for another Boston stronghold here in a second. He might be working. Hyman is limping on that leg, on both of the legs. Oh! Uh oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Goodness. We got it. Come back to right, come back to the right. Oh. That's this crowd that. not liking it. I thought it was good to play this to spin it. He's not even gonna be allowed in the building. That might be the ass up this in. Didn't Creeper say if he was here that there would be serious consequences? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And she also said whoever's been helping him get in and out of the building will face consequences on their own. So whoever just let him in better be watching out for her. Yeah, more that head problem. As this match does continue for a little bit longer at least, oh my gosh. You have to wonder about the future of one C.J. Logan now. C.J. Wizard. C.J. Wizard. Sorry, thank you. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at all this head on. I think I'm starting to get some of my own. There's the submission. This crowd doesn't like it. Wow. I don't like it. Wow. Wow. I would suggest Michael Hyman put CJ Wizard on his list of Christmas uh, thank yous and cards and Christmas cards this year. Because he's sure enough to gift wrap him a uh, trip to the finals. What, see, what I don't understand, and this is going to take some looking into, Hyman doesn't have any friends. I mean, he's, he's kind of like Matos. He doesn't have any friends. No, he doesn't. So, who's, why would why would Wizard help him out? Or, or, is it, or is it against Gregory Black here? I think that's what the issue is, is that he wanted to fuck with Gregory Black. He wanted to okay. fuck with Gregory Black and screw him. It wasn't, I, I just think that it was, it was more or less, it was more trying to see Gregory Black than trying to help Michael Hyman. I, I don't know, but it, I, is it worth your career at that point? Because we heard what Creeker said. We all heard it. You know what? You know what? Quite and this, and this, I'm just going on here. Maybe in CJ Wilson's mind, it is. I, I mean, it is the ultimate 
it's the ultimate, you know, he's going to hit you and you're not expecting it because he's not supposed to be here. I'll grant Wizard of that. I mean, you got to think about stuff with Wizard. Of course, he's going to think, it's, you know, if he's willing to risk his career for it, he would do it because remember, Gregory Black is the man that almost ended his career you know, two years ago. We continue to try to figure this out. Nonetheless, time is moving on to face. Sure. And that Oh, Sam is putting Prince Peach on notice. Princess Peach. You are listening to No More Secrets by Papa Roach on the album The Paramore Sessions, available on iTunes and wherever music is sold. It is the official theme for CCL March Madness 2014. While you enjoy the music, we get set for our second semi-final match of the evening. Enjoy!
Wow. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Champion won the WWE Women's Title three times, defeated in Wong and Taylor Star. While on the other side, Laura Croft from Wembley, England, the Tomb Raider defending two time defending March Madness Champion, former SCCO and SCAW Women's Champion, defeated Black Widow in the quarter. Taylor Tate presented by WWE 2K14, Becoming Mortal, rated team for team. Available in stores everywhere now for the low, low price of $39.99 and this week only on Xbox Live for $29.99. They're practically giving it away. Practically? <laughs> I mean, just in time for WrestleMania, right? That's right. Be a very interesting match between two of the top ladies here in the CCL. Danger punches in the other one. Look at this. It's back and forth, back and forth, punch, punch. And Beth Phoenix goes to the ground by the hands of Royal Croft. Continuing in the streak of punching, by the way, now. Our Senegenic hands that Laura has. I gotta, I gotta wonder about Father. Laura was fucking out of the ring tournament again. Can we consider her a dynasty? Why can't we consider her a dynasty now? I'm just asking. But, but to answer your question, yes. Well, she's gotta be a dynasty. I mean, to win this title, if we even have a three piece, I mean, good Lord. If she wins it three years in a row, we might as well just shut the tournament down. <laughs> I haven't played anymore. <laughs> Alright. 
Laura Frog being the only number one seed left in this tournament. That's a lot of pressure to try to get to the finals. Being the number one seed, you don't want to be like Greg Black and be eliminated right before the finals as number one seed, even though he had a bit of a two stone. You just gotta go French with that. You're welcome. That was nice. I like that. It was good. Um, good talk, coach. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. Winner faces the electric tomorrow night for the right to face power. Maybe. Plus, for all we know, Electra and Neo Dia Neo Dia Revolution is still fighting somewhere. Um I, I I would I would like to believe you but I can't because I've just been uh, because I've been informed that both Neo Dia Revolution and Psy Electra have been ejected from the building. So I guess once they find one another, they're probably not fighting anymore tonight. They're fighting in the parking lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bossy crab by the Glamazon. Uh, by the way, also on the Vistal Nugget. What's that mean? Just added the crossroads. Damage versus Peach. Holy shit. What? Damage versus Peach at crossroads. Wow. I have a feel I have a feeling that Sam's gonna probably make that for you know the match with the fire <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised he has a fire. She hasn't won at all if she's been here on the field. She is pretty useless. Big setting the time getting the ring, yeah. That's that's that experience right there, right? Nope. All counters herself. And, oh! You got knocked the fuck out, Beth! Oh, Laura! Laura's ready to unload into a thought of this and back to you. This is not our first rodeo. Oh, no. I have to acknowledge, they really did a good job putting our table back together. Oh, look at that! We got some good people around here. I think they're Amish. As far as Ben's Beth right. No offense to any stuff. No offense to any Amish that might be watching this video. <laughs> uh, Amish or not, if you are watching this video, thank you for watching it. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, come on now. Now on the floor! Oh, oh my god! god. That valley driver on the floor. B. And then it's as good as a rap. B. 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 Oh, well, let's back up there. Wow, let's back up a camera and get her. Get her muscle back in the ring because she was very much in danger of getting counted out and Laura back in. She said, I'm back up and Sap is getting up and back in. Oh, no. Angel's got this counter. It don't back up and no. Woo. And back. Oh. Well, she's going for it again, who knows? Big time double on those suplex. Phoenix slow to get up. English suplex! English suplex! English suplex! Last sector, English suplex is by Ms. Paul. Back up. Woo! Yikes. You're welcome. Get out. Laura Croft kicking, trying to get a little bit going offensively, but Beth Phoenix just cut her off again. Oh, yank her down by the hair. Her hair's not that long. That's the scary part. Right. 
fit. That's not above doing anything to win here. Okay. That's right. But then, but then again, who should be above it doing anything to win at this point? That's right. I mean, all the way at this level. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's for a shot at the... It's for a shot at the world title. Just that. Yeah, right now, these, one of these two women are two wins away of getting that shot at the at, uh, crossroads. Surfboard by Phoenix. And Sir Beth would like to get back and become a little champion again. Remember the last she held it up until uh, Supernova in September when she lost that six pack challenge. And Beth has lost. Slam slam. Good yeah. night. One. Two didn't hook the leg, and she does hook that leg. Got hook that leg. Got hook that leg. Got hook that leg, honey. Yeah, of course she does. Oh, Big time scoop one. No, I'm having trouble getting with the all her back. Oh! That's that guy's having that, but we'll never know now. Nice. Good night. Oh, the yeah. oh. Wow. This is about to, oh, okay. He's going to have to do a lot more than one crater light to beat the Blavatar. She just threw her against the ropes? Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to fight back up. Yeah, that just pisses her off even more. Goes on by Laura. Goes on by Laura. That much water is all This is powerful. That's him get up. Okay. Good. Right. Not over though. Well, it might be over after this. She hits the darkness. Angels of darkness. Hits the darkness ball. Yeah. This just got kicked to 11 on intensity wise. Nice running power by, by Power Slam by Beth Phoenix. That was amazing. This is the late British Bulldog and now Beth. Uh -oh. But what's the uh, what's absolutely amazing is that the Glamazon is on offense after that maneuver. No! No! Wow. I think she, she's probably going for the DVD again. He got hit by the reverse DVT. Setting up Angel Darkness again. She got it. It's got to be over. No! We're not calling this finish anymore. It's just not happening. <laughs> High intensity maneuver. Angel of Dark needs to put a cradle of light. Champions giving it everything they got here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, you know who's looking on and liking this. That's Alexa. Absolutely. Well, it, it's you, I guess. Right. This is Walsh. Walsh is going to have a ball down. Isn't that like wrestling one on one? Hook the leg. It's the first thing I teach my guys and gals. Yes. Next regular reversal by Laura. Mark, what, how much leaks you have left? Oh! Good. Uh, See ya. I guess I can answer that for that. Champ, you're up. <laughs> that feeling you got knocked the fuck out again. 
Yeah, you stay down if you would have had a lot shorter distance before. Let's go! But you learn this distance! I'm so glad B. 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 That's not done. He knows he needs to do a little bit more to put away the two-time defending champion. Oh! A very maneuver she used to win the women's title only one year ago this weekend. Well, Phoenix in front of. Like we're gonna have a new March Madness Women's Champ. You know what the stipulation we ought to add to all the pictures that they did in the pool and it leaves nothing behind and just give everyone the match the, that they want to deserve. The loser goes on a date with Mato. That's the stipulation we need to add. I'm sure they both would, would fight their ass off and kill each other to, to avoid that shit. In, in, in all seriousness, Johnny won a match. What a great match. You're not kidding me. When it comes to tie situations, I'm just not even going to call them finishes anymore. I'm pointing the term high intensity maneuvers right now. Because they each hit him with like six or seven of them and they kicked out. That's just incredible. It was definitely a hard fought match. This is crazy. And now the young lady, Beth Phoenix, has one more match to win. She's going to get that shot to avenge her loss to the one and only Pyra. There's the end, he's Phoenix Inferno. And as this was the second match, the main event of the evening, I, I gotta throw it out there too. The main event match at the Oh yeah. That Phoenix is lecture tomorrow, as is Mike Lyman and Sherman Stanton. We hope you're here for it. Hello.